Hi friends at 10th Production, this is your TD with a quick update for you. Some of you have been asking me if it might be possible for us to get a tally system. Now, unfortunately I didn't think we'd be able to fit that in the budget this year, but I did think it might be possible for me to come up with something myself. So I want to show you what I came up with. When you're in the church network, you can pull up a browser either on a desktop computer or on your phone and you can visit this address and you'll see this website in front of you. Along the top, you're going to see all the sources that the switcher is currently making tally data available for. And as you can see, they're color coded. So gray means the source is off air, green means the source is on the preview bus and red, of course, means the source is on air. Now, all you need to do is pick your source. If you're CAN3, just tap 3 and you're going to get the tally for CAN3. Again, gray means you're off air, green means you're on the preview bus and likely the director will take you next in a few moments. And red means you're on air. Now, because in our case, CAM 1 and 2 are right next to each other in the back of the auditorium. We've put a mic stand with a tablet holder between the tripods. And so what we can do there on that tablet is uh, display both tallies for 1 and 2. So the way to do that, uh, you're just going to pick uh, 2 first, because in our case 2 is uh, to the left of camera 1, um, and then camera 1 second. So now you're going to have um, now you have the tally for cam 2 on the left and tally for cam 1 on the right. By the way, the clock at the bottom is linked to our reference time system and the timer on the left is displaying the same countdown that is displayed on the various wall clocks in the building. If you are on a computer, you can take advantage of the tally system as well. If you're in the auditorium in the media booth, you can pick ProPresenter Main and ProPresenter Keyed as your sources and it'll give you tallies for the two outputs from your computer that are going to the broadcast switcher. If you are running broadcast graphics in the control room, the source you want to pick is a ProPresenter Broadcast. And yeah, that's about it. By the way, you guys are killing it. You're doing an amazing job. I'm so proud of you. And I hope that this will help you enjoy what you do even more and do an even better job so much for now. If you're at all curious how this all works under the hood, just stick around and I'm gonna give you a quick tour. So this all works because the good people at Ross included a 24-line GPIO port with the Carbonet Ultra. I'm connecting to it with a Raspberry Pi and because the Ross unit outputs 5 volts, I need to make a simple downshifter to make it compatible with the logic level of the Pi. After some initial testing, I put it all in a $3 food container. Doesn't look pretty, but does the job. A couple more tests and the hardware is ready to go at less than $100 total in parts. The software side is a tad more complex than it absolutely needs to be because I wanted to integrate it with the production time and automation systems. There are two pieces to the back end. The first deals with hardware and uses the controller software of the existing MPCT system to expose tally data on the MQTT backbone. The second is a NodeExpress server that serves the website. It does so by listening in on the MQTT traffic and then forwarding tally updates and time data to the front end via socket IO. The front end is bare bones, just socket IO, JavaScript, and a bit of jQuery. That's it! Feel free to check out the GitHub repository if you'd like to dig deeper and message me if you have questions or suggestions. Thanks so much for watching.